What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. told me first macro I had kids yelling at me about the fact that you're here here to learn that you don't have to think for yourself that's my job to teach you everything and that you shouldn't have to think of things on your own somebody told me that first macro no they were they're completely serious they're completely serious they're like art I'm like what I want you to do is try to think for yourselves and try to figure something out well that's not what we're here for we're here to learn you're supposed to teach us. <laughs> really told me. Doesn't happen that way. Okay. Okay. I'm not here to necessarily spoon feed everything. I want people to try to figure things out. I tried it with this, and we'll see what happens. But if I was a student and I was reading this, and I'm like, Let's see, a slide bus has a length of 27 centimeters. You want to play a note one octave higher? I don't remember Mr. County ever mentioning the word octave. Right? But this book, the questions in this book have to relate to the book, right? Otherwise, they wouldn't be in this book. And Mr. Gunning told me they were from 15.1. And if I look at the way the chapter is broken down, the problem set that we're working in is under the little blue heading of 15.1, Properties of Sound. Which means maybe if I flip in my book to where it talks about properties of sound, I might find something about an octave. For number 12, they change things a little bit, right? Same, everything is almost the same. Except what happens in part A. It tells us what about the source? It's moving what now? Away. So if the source is moving away from the detector, what do we know about the velocity of the source? This is now, and I'll just do this so we can see it. This is now a negative 31 meters per second, right? So we plug that into our equation. The detector was still stationary in part A of 12, right? So if we're subtracting a negative, it's like we're adding, right? So now if we look at this, we take 343 and divide it by a larger number than our number larger than 343. We're going to get a number less than one, right? You get a number less than one, then this should be less than what we started, which means the frequency is lower, and this comes out to be 280 hertz. Okay. 